how much you supermodels love cartoonists, but I promise to another. <clears throat> Yahoo! Hello! Time to get up! Very important day! Wakey, wakey! Oh, I hate to do this. No, I don't. <laughs> Why did you do that? You did that because it's trash night. Hardly. Uh, it's some sort of holiday. It's... Oh, no! That's today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll have them in a chip. <laughs> All right, Garfield. Your birthday lasagnas are ready. <laughs> Oh, this is great, Garfield. I'm going to edit this into my lasagna home video montage. Hey, I've been shortchanged. There, I've added the new footage. I have over six hours of video of Garfield eating lasagna. Well... It's not like he does anything else. <clears throat> Complaint. Is something wrong, Garfield? Recap demand. <laughs> what is it? I cooked you one lasagna for every year old you are. <gasps> I'm one short? I'm one short?! And I don't have the ingredients to make another birthday lasagna. Uh, I'm going to the market. I'll be right back. Well, he's gone. I'm going to put the time to good use. I'm going to do something constructive. Report Zordnix until we reach the invasion planet, Exalted Leader. Good. Did you send for Ricotta? Here he is, Exalted Leader. Ricotta, I have a mission of vital importance for you. I am a bully the attack on the invasion of planet, Exalted Leader. No. This is more important. Let me show you. Our scanners have taken thousands of images of the invasion planet, and we see nothing that can possibly prevent us from invading and making its people our slaves, except possibly for this. Who are those people? We do not know. Apparently, they are from a planet that is a neighbor to us. They obviously travel to the planet we intend to invade. What happened to them? The spy images do not show that. We need to know what we are facing. I believe I know that person. I could be wrong, but I think that is my Uncle Mosi. Go ahead to the invasion planet. Go to where that orange creature is and find out what happened to those people. Take this. It will measure the brain power of those you encounter. Right away, exalted Elite. This is Ricotta. I am on my way to scout the invasion of planet. I will report the back. Agent Ricotta reporting. I'm on the invasion planet. That's all. I will. <laughs> Measuring the brain power of a local creature I encounter. Brain measure is uh, zero. I will seek out the orange creature. Have a 
located the orange creature. It appears to be in a state of deep suspended animation. Yes, as the carpa goes back. It's a carp. I must hide. Oh, hope he has my last lasagna ready. Hi, oh, there it is. Did you hear something? Whoa. Did you? That is... What was the... Whoa! Body. Did you see my lasagna run past this way? <laughs> what it did? My lasagna had legs, and then it ran, and it talked, and then it asked me if it was, and then it had like a mouth, and it was talking, and it went like it ran. You believe me, don't you, Odie? <laughs> well, that's okay. I don't believe me either. You are satisfied that the orange creature will be no threat? I am. I do not know what he did to vanquish the people in those images, but I know I was able to handle him. Hmm? Then the invasion shall commence. All these years, and I didn't know Lasagna could talk. Why didn't it say something? What if it isn't just Lasagna? What if Ravioli can talk? What if Cannoli tries to beat me up? And the garlic bread? I'll starve. <laughs> Hold on, boy. I can't understand you. Please note, Odie is less articulate than baked lasagna. What is it? Something out there? <laughs> They're coming for me. I've got to hide. That creature sees him. If I had an ounce of courage, I'd go out there and save my friend Odie. Good thing for me, I don't have an ounce of courage. Fine work, Ricotta. Now we just need to neutralize that orange creature. You say he will be easy to defeat. Very easy, Exalted Leader. Just as soon as we find him. He's here somewhere. <coughs> we will find that orange creature and we will destroy him. What did I ever do to lasagna? Besides eating thousands of them. There is no sign of the orange creature in here. Let's check all the closets. Did you notice something? Ricotta, I heard. Is something wrong? This is silly. I can't just hide in here for the rest of my life. Yes, I can. No, I can't. John? Odie? Talking lasagna? Oh. Odie! It's me they want. Might as well get it over with. The humanity! Sounds like they're in John's room. I thought you said it would be easy to defeat Ricotta. I thought it would be. Guys, oh. it's time to end this. Wow, 
I don't know what happened, but I'm sure glad they're gone. Yeah, but you never know what happened. They were dangerous and scary and destructive. But boy, they sure look delicious. Garfield, I'm back! I knew you wouldn't want to wait until I cooked it, so I stopped off at Vito's and got you that extra birthday lasagna. No, no, take it away. It might talk to me. It might, it might. Gee, I always thought Vito was a pretty good cook. Waking me up is a crime punishable by no less than 15 years in a maximum security prison. Or at least it should be. All right, I'm up. Let's see who's too stupid to not be sleeping at this hour. Oh, it's you, Harry. What are you looking for? Leftovers. In this house? Nothing is left over. So I see. What I really had my appetite set on was that nice, plump, juicy bluebird. Mmm, does that look like good eating? But I'll bet you've had your eye on that one for a while, right? Not right. I never chase any bird smaller than a roast turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and that cream corn that John's mother made. What? No bird chasing? I gave it up. Too much work, too many feathers, not enough drumsticks. Then, uh, do you mind? My guest? Bluebird pie, here I come! <laughs> you win this round, bird, but I'll get you next time. Maybe those trash cans over on Maple Drive will have leftovers. Chasing birds. Looks like fun. But I'm not going to get back into that again. My chasing bird days are behind me. No, no! They're ahead of me! I must chase birds! Okay, if you were a cat, you'd understand. <clears throat> the hunt is on! It's going over to the neighbor's yard. It won't get away from me. <laughs> that bird can't get away from me. I'll just wait here until she comes back, and then I'll catch her. She has to come back. She left her eggs here. sitting here waiting for my dinner to return. <laughs> the Garfield strip's funny today. I just gotta wait here. <sighs> no matter how long it takes. She shouldn't leave her eggs alone this long. Not with creatures like me about. What's wrong with that mother bird? Leaving her eggs alone all day? 
Itchy, kind of cold. I don't think that's good for them. Oh well, not my problem. I'll chase her tomorrow if she comes back. She has to come back. She has to take care of those cute little eggs. The female bluebird lays a clutch of three to five... Hi, Garfield. I'm watching a very interesting documentary. Anything about feeding your cat? It's all about birds hatching eggs. The incubation process in which the female sits on the eggs to keep them warm takes around two weeks. It's not that warm out there. If the heat is not maintained, the eggs will perish. Perish? Oh, well. Like I keep telling myself, it's not my problem. <sighs> oh, I think I'll just give me a little sneak. <sighs> perish? <sighs> Maybe I'll just make sure the mother bluebird has come back to sit on the eggs. I'm sure she has. She hasn't. Oh, this is not good. Maybe a muffler or a heating pad. I wonder if there's a place up here to plug in an electric blanket. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Okay, but don't tell anyone I did this. There you go. Keep warm the legs. It's just until the mother bluebird comes back. She'll be back any minute. Any minute. And now there's another one being born. And this one. I'm a mother. What am I thinking? No, no, no. I'm I'm not your mama. Wait, stop that. I'm not your mama. I'm a cat. Honest. I am. Here, listen to this. Meow. Meow. See? I hate to abandon the little fellows, but... I don't know anything about taking care of baby birds. No, not Mama. Why are you unclear on this concept? Oh, good time for a nap. It's always a good time for a nap. <laughs> Cute little birds, but I'm not cut out to be their Mama. Again. Look, you can't stay with me, fellas. And my water dish is not a bird bath. I don't care what you say. You can't live with me. And stop calling me Mama. Oh. Now you're going to stay there, and that is an order. Don't look at me like that. I can't take care of you guys. You need someone who can teach you how to fly. I can't do that. You need someone who can share worms with you for lunch. I really can't do that. I'm not going to look at him anymore. Your real mother will be back sooner or later. Now, goodbye. Bye-bye, bluebirds. They'll be just fine. What if the mother bird never comes back? They could be cold. They could be hungry. They could be Harry's lunch. My babies! Hey, hold it down, little guys. I'm gonna be eating. Let me have those birds, Harry. Get your own lunch, Garfield. I said let me have those birds. Hey, that's my meal. I saw him first. Damn, guys, if Harry catches us, you'll be bluebird sandwiches. Those birds are mine, Garfield. You can't get away from me, Garfield. I'm faster and I'm stronger. 
He's right. He is. I need a place to hide them. That's not fair, Garfield. I don't eat your lasagna. You could leave my bluebirds. Oh, big mistake. Now I'm trapped. Big mistake. Now you're trapped. I said that. Ah! Ouch! Stop! Don't hurt him. Oh, me. Don't hurt any of us. Now, finally, it's lunchtime. No! Ouch! Get away! Stop! Stop! I'm giving up bluebird for you. I'm giving up eating birds altogether. No, no, I was taking care of them. <laughs> Not me, guys. That's your mama. Mama? Mama! Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Come visit. Okay, so I saved some birds. You didn't see that, okay? I know where you live. 